Super Dave here with another Super Dave review. Super Dave here with another exciting Masterverse review. That's right, we have Hero in the house. And look at this awesome looking package with this cool figure that is a throwback to the history of our hero, He-Man. This is an ancestor, and he has a cool backstory. And man, just check out the artwork on that spine, that book in there. As usual, really superb. And even on the back, yes. This is, of course, inspired by that Revelation cartoon series on Netflix. You see Eternia in the background there. Wow, look at that. And then there's his bio. If you'd like to pause and read that now, you can. But let's go ahead and break open our hero and check him out. And here we are outside of the Temple of Power itself, or at least that's what we're pretending. And here we are with Hero. There is Queen Vena and King Grayskull, Sir Laserlot. There is Chitaro and Eldor and Faunus and Scarlatross and Lord Adi back there as well back in this time period of King Grayskull's time period of the mythos of Motu and some of these characters I've made up and others are classic like of course Eldor is a for real character even though I made him Lord Adi is also canon if you look in the comic books and of course Queen Venus or Laserlot. So Laserlot was one of King Grayskull's best friends and there's the Masterverse King Grayskull. The rest of these are all uh, classics or Mythic Legions. Of course, that one back there is a Mythic Legion head with a Thor Love and Thunder body. So here we have our Masterverse hero. And let's check first at his accessories. And he comes with a balled up fisted hand as well as an open palm hand. He comes with two weapon holding hands. And he comes with this very unique staff there. And we'll take a look at that a little closer. When we do articulation, we'll open that up and see what color the jewel is inside of that. But uh, you see, he only comes with one face sculpt and it kind of is an angry looking, you know, upset looking face sculpt. It looks like he's smiling on the product pictures on the back as well as in the um, artwork but here he kind of looks disturbed. <laughs> but, but it is a good face sculpt. I have a little bit of a QC issue on his crown and forehead there, it looks like. But overall, he's looking good. His eyes are really piercing and look, look amazing. His eyes really look amazing. You can see his logo on his chest, and belt, all new sculptings this this belt area loincloth area those are removable gauntlets so they could certainly count as an accessory on both left and right arms they can be slid off and this time we get a cloth cape for a hero because in the classics version it was that hard rubber plastic but now let's take a look at heroes articulation Moving Hero in a little closer here, we'll take a look at this head sculpt first of all. And it will only look up about that much. And it pretty much will not look down at all. I don't know what is sticking about mine, but it will he will not look down. He barely looks straight ahead. He will look side to side. And uh, very, very little head pivot. Disappointed in this new Waves head sculpt so far as far as their movement. Uh, with this caliber of figure and with a ball joint and these, you know, the, the options here in the modern articulation, they should be able to have excellent head pivot all the way around and just make that work. Of course, he does have the ability to go 360 there. 
has the ability to strike better than 90 degrees on that T pose there as well as everything's really tight <clears throat> bicep swivel double jointed elbows and of course this gauntlet again is removable and swivel it doesn't unlatch but it can be removed of course there's swivel and hinge horizontal hinge at the wrist pop that off and show you that you can move remove that gauntlet and these are definitely a new mold and they look cool got a little bit of a paint scuff on mine there but I like those gauntlets they look really nice before we move on to the rest of his articulation, let me pop out his staff here and take a look at the color of the jewel. Certainly curious to see if we can pop this open. Looks like it's a frosted green color. And these are very tight. But they do open up. They're articulated. And yes, it's a translucent frosted green jewel inside. Not sure exactly what kind of powers that has. Don't recall in the mythos of what it actually explains, but we are used to having jewels like this in various functions, like Shadow Weaver and, of course, the ball that uh, is in Evil Lynn Scepter. So this is definitely cool. It's not quite as gold, metallic gold, as the one that came with the Classics version, but you still get the basic... Uh, outline of that same idea of us of a really neat and very authentic very very unusual and very um, <laughs> unique as we said and I don't think that is removable you could probably probably pop that off as you can see there it's hard to tell that's a really bright light but it will shine right through it not showing that way there we go kind of get a get an idea there the translucence of that jewel and although they are very tight on these hinges, it pops right back in place. And then you can kind of just line them up. Looks good. You kind of get them lined up just right and they'll be flush against each other. There we go. Looking good. All right. Now let's look at the rest of his articulation. He has that ball joint. Now this actually is removable. You see the buckles under here. So you could technically remove this upper chest piece and he'll have a regular chest underneath that's actually gold that that gold and it's not a metallic gold but you can see that there is some shimmer in it see that this is almost a mustard yellow in some lighting but then I can kind of see a gold coming out of there this is a little bit more gold than that is now see when that light hit it that does kind of look gold there but in some lighting, it almost looks like a mustard yellow. Really like this. Show you the back there. Really liking this midsection here. That's really cool. But, you know, he'll bend back about that far. He'll crunch forward about that far. Not really going to get much turn there, but he has swivel at the waist. He's going to get full splits, thigh rotation. Be able to kick up about that high, maybe not quite 90 degrees. He does have full double jointed knees. He also has boot cut. Look, check out those really nice thick boots. They look really cool. Some detail there. It's kind of a marbleized goldish color, not really metallic, but it has some shine to it. He's going to be able to get full tiptoes. He's going to go up enough. Excellent rockers and a peg hole in the bottom. So really good articulation of what we are used to with the exception of the head. Certainly the head could have been better. Not sure exactly what is hindering that from going down. You can force it, but it's going to sponge right back. I think it's his throat is just so big and the way his chin narrows, it just will not go down to look down. But uh, anyway, yeah, I wish these heads would get like a really good motion because we know action figures can do it because they do it all the time and the hair back here is whooshed up a little bit like seemingly not to get in the way too much which like I said he does look up pretty good he's just not going to look down <laughs> alright let's now look at some comparisons and here is our hero next to his classics counterpart 
And of course he had more of a metallic chest armor, a little bit more of a wide and pronounced logo, a little bit more detail and darker shades here, more of a uh, neutral kind of a darker blue instead of a royal blue, a little bit more detail on the silver rivets and stuff here. His gauntlets were non-removable, and they're a little bit more of a gray, whereas our new heroes is more of a silver here. Uh, a little bit less size on those clasps at the top, where these are really thick here, which they're holding that. They're holding on that cloth cape back there, so I guess these had to be a little bit bigger. Uh, you see this is a little bit lower profile, but a most uh, certainly more metallic in color. And I will go ahead and open this up to show you that the one that I got, each one of these would have different colors. You never knew which one you'd get. I got the purple with uh, mine, which was also translucent, as you can see there. But, um, yeah, I may put this staff with my new hero because uh, I certainly like the new hero's articulation. Just like with Battle Armor He-Man, you can check out my review on him. I certainly would have liked this armor to have been more of a metallic gold like this uh, also this hero came with the really cool sort of he that was almost like a blue translucent color with the sparkles in it that was reminiscent of it receiving the 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 full power of he from the orb the orb of power that would be stored in castle grayskull so this is, the, I guess, in essence, that power translating or being transferred to the sword, which is really cool. Would have loved to have gotten that feature with this one, too, as others have stated that as well, that we certainly wish we could have gotten that. But um, the facial structure is similar. This one has a little bit more of an older look to it, whereas this one is a little bit more young. But there again, they were in Preternia. They were in heaven. So I guess, you know, they were looking their best there. Um, but yeah, this, you can see the comparison here. I'll move in just a little closer here so you can really tell the differences. Both have like a blue jewel under their chin on that neck area. A red jewel in the crown. Both have blue eyes. Of course our classics definitely has more detail in the boots, has a little bit more of a, certainly a little bit more of a detail in the shoe part of the boot. Indentions and then of course the metallic gives it almost like an armor look to it instead of this mustard color over here definitely tell this is gold over here so yeah I mean definitely would have liked that's my biggest complaint other than the head articulation would be wish it had been a little bit more metallic gold here and again but depending on the lighting you can get a little better take on that gold you can hit it with some light there we have it and thank you so much for joining us for this Masterverse Super Dave review. And come back next time and see us. Please like, subscribe if you have it, comment if there's something that you'd like to say or share or a question you have. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time for another Super Dave review. Be blessed. Here's some photos in the photo gallery.